The northern inland region of New South Wales has experienced ongoing skill shortages and our skilled migration program has enabled us to assist our regional businesses uh, function and grow through a wide array of occupations such as nurses, uh, chefs, hospitality workers and traditional trades. RDA Northern Inland is exceptionally well connected to our regional economy, to our regional employers and also to our skilled migrants. And this level of expertise and knowledge has allowed us to become uh, experts in the field and well respected right across the state and nationally. Our strong level of positive outcomes largely results from us treating our skilled migrants with respect and ensuring that they can transition seamlessly into our communities. Our settlement support goes way beyond what our skilled migrants would find in the big cities. Our Skilled Migration Jobs Board Northern Inland Facebook group has 665 members. We would receive up to 50 reactions to a post in a day. This is achieving genuine employment outcomes. Our first skilled employee that came from regional development was Courage. Courage started with the business about 14 months ago. Um, at that time, we had 29 employees. In the last 14 months, we've grown our employee group to 36. Um, and we've had another four regional development employees come to us. It would have been very difficult for us to grow our business as rapidly as what we have without the input of our skilled migrants. You know, this is the time when we can actually appreciate the work of the Northern Inland, their support, uh, Gary, whom I have met in person, and um, the team behind the scenes of Northern Inland, Australian immigration, Australian government. You know, I just want to take this opportunity to really appreciate your help, really appreciate your support. Um, it was, you know, it's something we really needed. We needed that support to, to be able to move, to, move to, to Australia. In order that this business operate, we need to access highly skilled people, typically electronic engineers, microprocessor engineers, and service people. We've been able to do this through the 489 visa program. This visa program has been absolutely critical to the further growth and development of our business because we've been able to access the skills we need to enable us to continue going forward and developing our export market. I'm very thankful to Mr. Gary Fry of Ardani for nominating us in the Northern Tableland region of New South Wales and also for including us in the Skilled Migration Job Board group in Facebook. I find this group to be very helpful in searching for an employment, as well as getting helpful information about the region. Urbanville is located a bit more than an hour and a half from Lismore. It's a small multi-purpose service. We have 18 high care beds, four acute care beds, a community health service and an emergency department. Uh, we have difficulty in recruiting to Urbanville because of its isolation. In the past, we have utilised the 489 visa system and been very successful recruiting Arthur D'Artagnan, a Frenchman, to our service. Arthur has proved to be a great success. I originally studied in Sydney and decided to move to the countryside to explore my career opportunities. And so far, it's been a very successful move. I've been able to gain skills and experience that I would have never gained in a major city like Sydney. I recently managed to become an advanced clinical nurse and able to look after patients as a more advanced practitioner. With the research station being located quite remote in regional New South Wales, it is sometimes hard to attract uh, skilled employees out here. Um, I like it very much at the workplace because the staff are very welcoming and very friendly. So I'd like to remain for a long time here. We're a modern farming business with over a hundred farming machines. Therefore, we really needed a full-time diesel mechanic. We had a lot of trouble finding skilled labour after the millennium drought. Um, a lot of the farmers' um, skilled employees left the district, probably mainly off to mines. And then of course the drought ended with a flood and um, suddenly everyone was looking for mechanics, welders, 
and um, experienced machinery operators, which just weren't in the area. I'm not just a migrant, I'm a skilled migrant, fulfilling an important role in regional Australia. And I'm proud to say that I can now call Australia my home. A state-sponsored 491 visa managed from Sydney cannot be as effective as one managed from the respective regions where we want to see skilled migrants go, live and work.